Hello everyone, I'm River Fox and welcome to the channel. And today we are going to be carrying on with our Simple Tips and Whatnot series. This is the new mini series that does go answering the most frequently asked questions from within the comments section. And if you haven't seen any of the other videos in this series, then you can check the playlist. It will be linked in the description down below. And uh, last video, I did go through my top favorite ranged weapons. So today we are going to be going through my favorite melee weapons. So without further ado, let's get straight into my favorite melee weapons in Fortnite Save the World. Now, exactly the same as with the ranged weapons video, I will be leaving out the mythic weapons from this video, only for the fact that not everybody is going to be able to have access to the mythic weapons, and bo both of the mythic weapons um, melees are absolutely awesome. But because most people won't have access to them, I will leave them out of this video. Now, first off then, for my most favorite melee weapons in Fortnite is and has to be the ear splitter. Now, if you do have the anti-cuddle sailor loadout to go with this, it is an absolutely phenomenal weapon. Now, for mine, I have set it as a sunbeam and we have a double crit damage, a double crit rating, and I've left it as a physical damage. And it does say at the bottom here, eliminating an enemy with this weapon causes nearby enemies to dance for a short duration. Does not affect enemies that have recently been dancing. Dance does not affect mist monsters or bosses. And it also says spear boombox, a spear that deals heavy damage with long range thrusting attacks. Sonic pulse slam the spear into the ground channeling damage and knocking back nearby enemies while also providing a temporary damage buff to you and your ability stacks up to four times so basically with the heavy attack then you put, place the spear in the ground and it will deal a constant amount of damage to those husks so the more husks that are around you the more damage that spear will do and in some circumstances you can actually be in that position constantly giving off damage time and time again for as long as there are husks around it is it is a phenomenal weapon so one that i definitely recommend you do try and get whenever you can now a lot of the weapons in the uh, in this video are going to be weapons that were from certain events so you may not be able to get all of them straight away hopefully fingers crossed they will come out in the birthday llamas which should hopefully be coming out in july but the ear splitter is most definitely a weapon that you should be trying to get as soon as you can now another really good one and one again you may not get at the moment but another fantastic one is the surround pound now for this one i've gone sunbeam again and we have a double crit damage a crit rating energy element on this one and an additional attack speed stunning or knocking back an enemy with this weapon causes it and nearby enemies to dance for a short duration does not affect enemies that have recently been dancing dance does not affect miss monsters or bosses and hardware boombox a hammer with good attack speed and excellent impact Base drop, smash the ground, creating a series of sonic pulses that damage and knock back enemies. So again, this is from the same set as the ear splitter, but it is a phenomenal, phenomenal hardware weapon. Now, it does work slightly different than the ear splitter in the way of the heavy attack, but with this weapon, you don't need to have a specific loadout set out for it. You can pretty much get some decent damage regardless of the hero loadout you have. If you do have a melee um, loadout, then of course you are going to do a lot more damage. But you can still do some phenomenal damage even without that specific loadout. And in my opinion, the only weapon, I think, melee weapon that's got any better damage output than the Surround Pound is, of course, my Storm King's Fury. But 
yeah surround pound absolutely awesome weapon now another weapon that you may not even consider getting or using is the stop axe now you can only level this up to a level 25 and it does only have a one single perk with it but this is actually a really really powerful weapon in the right loadout i have actually done a video on the stop axe uh, so do check that out it will be linked in the description down below you will be pleasantly surprised just how far you can get with just a stop axe phenomenal phenomenal weapon and do not discount it i would definitely recommend you try it out even if you don't keep it i definitely recommend you level one up and try that out now another decent weapon although i haven't finished leveling it up only because i now have the uh, storm king's ravager so i don't need to use it but the Spectral Blade is a really good melee sword. And again, regardless what hero loadout you have got on this, it will actually do some pretty decent damage. Now, I did set mine up on double crit rating, crit damage, uh, energy element, and damage to slowed and snared targets. It does have a sixth perk, damage dealt with this weapon snares the target by 30% for six seconds. And also, oh, for the right up at the bottom, it says Sword Medium. Uses an above average attack speed to deal high sustained damage with moderate impact. Spectral Slash, warp to the targeted enemy, dealing heavy damage. May stagger smaller enemies. Now, what this basically means is you can you can basically start over this side, use your heavy attack ability, and you can literally phase across to a certain distance and attack the husks. And it does work phenomenally well. I mean, especially for things like takers um, up in the air, you can literally jump in the air, use your heavy attack, and it will phase to that husk that uh, taker and and you can pretty nicely kill them off so you can do some really good damage and also you can get around the map a lot easier with it as well so definitely do recommend getting the spectral blade if you can now another another decent one is the six feet under now for this i don't use this for attacking husks this is purely for movement purposes when you do have this set up if you've got double movement speed on it then you will be able to move that much quicker around whenever you have this weapon out the only thing that i would say that is probably better is the baron now, I don't actually have the schematic for the Baron, um, but I have got one that I have been given actually probably about a year ago. Um, as I say, I've, I've never used this for attacking and killing husks. This is purely, purely for just movement speed and uh, moving around. So the only um, difference with the Baron is it can have three movement speeds on it. Whereas with our um, our spade, our shovel, whatever it is, um, that one will only be able to have the two. So it is good. The six feet under, you can definitely get that. In fact, they have been coming out in recent llamas at the moment. So you can get that quite easily. And it was in the event store not that long ago as well. So either the six feet under or the Baron, definitely recommend getting those for movement. Now, another one which I have reset this one a little while ago when I needed some extra perks somewhere else is the Stormblade. And this is, again, another really good weapon. And this one, high tech, energized blade with a fast swing speed for great sustained damage. Deals energy damage that is fairly effective against elemental enemies. Cut and thrust, a series of three heavy attacks that cut twice and thrust once while moving forward. So the Stormblade is a really, really good weapon and definitely one I would recommend if, if you haven't got anything like it. And see, the only reason I, I 
reset all of these now is because I've got the mythic ones, the, the Storm King's Ravager and the Storm King's Fury, I don't need to have the Storm Blade myself. But until you get those mythic weapons, this will be a great alternative to it. Now, these are pretty much the only ones that I have actually leveled up myself. There are a few here which I have tried and I have used and are pretty good, but I've just never really leveled them up myself because there, there's no point when I've got all of the other weapons. So um, the Argon Axe is, is okay. That isn't too bad at all. Um, I mean, we all know the Forceville Slugger. It's not actually too bad um what else do we have here husk cleaver that was one of the earliest uh swords that i did level up and it, it was pretty okay to use so i would recommend it if you can now i have been given one of these recently the astrobat 9000 and this is this is an amazing um club it is is actually really really powerful now, I haven't leveled this one up as yet, but I, I will be doing so. And uh, this one, Retro Sci-Fi, a fairly quick bat with high damage and low impact. Energy Slam, heavy attack that launches an explosive energy ball at enemies, dealing damage in an area. And set this up with crit damage, crit rating. Uh, you can even put the movement speed on this as well, but I would probably recommend putting that as a damage or something rather than the movement speed for this one. But the Astro Bat 9000 is a really, really good weapon, and I, I would strongly recommend getting that whenever you can and trying to level that up. Um, the last one which I have tried is the Contender and it it's basically a boxing glove is what it looks like uh but it is it is a pretty good weapon it does do some pretty good knockback and and can fling those husks quite away so it is another one that i would recommend getting if you can but for me my most personal favorites are, are going to be the surround pound and the um ear splitter and I, I definitely recommend the Stop Axe. I, I really recommend you try that out. It is such a fun weapon. So these are my three top favourites of my melee weapons. So I hope you do find this video useful. If you do, don't forget to drop a like down below. Smash that subscribe before you go. And if you turn on the notification bell, then you will always get updated of all my content when it comes out. If you do buy anything from the Fortnite store, please consider using code RIVERFOX as it will help me out a great deal. But until the next time, I hope you have a lovely day and stay safe, my friends.